Hi and welcome to another Oakland's College Music Technology tutorial. Um, in this session we're going to be looking at how to use the vocoder, um, triggering a vocoder through an audio file. Now um, in this circumstance we've got um, different vocoders, we need to use buses, um, but what is a vocoder? A vocoder is like a synth that um, it's triggered MIDI, but it's using the sound of an audio file that's already there. So the audio is coming through, and you're playing it on different notes using the MIDI keyboard. Okay. Um, so first of all, the vocoder that you can then, instead of using these presets in the library, you can use an, an Evoc 20PS vocoder synth in Logic Pro. Load that up and go to a, go to a preset. I like the uh, Clear Voice vocoder. Okay. You can clear that, okay? That's your um, that's your vocoder. So that's just the Evoc PS, yeah. And um, on the audio, we then we want to get this audio to go into that synth. Now, how do you do that? Well, you need to create a bus, okay? So you can create a bus here from that audio track into here. I'm going to put it on bus one, okay? And you can turn it up by pressing Alt click. It goes up to zero, okay? Now, if that's going up there. That then that bus then duplicates that signal next door into that bus, you see. So let's just play. Baby, can't you see I'm calling? So you can see it's going through on both channels there, on the original track and on that bus. Now, if that's going into the vocoder, you're actually you're not gonna want to hear one signal, let alone two. Okay. You do need to duplicate it to put it in the vocoder, but actually what you need to do is be able to turn those down so you can actually only hear the vocoder on its own and not um, being put together and convoluted with the uh, with the original track itself. So what we need to do is turn that bus into pre. Yeah, this means it's pre fader. So even though when you pull this down, that fader goes down there, it will still go into this bus track next door. Baby, can't you see? I'm Because okay, it's before it's gone to that fader, it still goes through at the original level. Now you actually want to turn down this level as well because you don't want to duplicate the signal either. But if you go back into the um, onto the instrument there and open up your your vocoder, you see the side chain here at the top right. You can select bus one. Okay, um, and now if you record it in, um, I haven't got a MIDI keyboard here, so I'm just going to draw in something. Um, I'm just going to draw in here a loop on uh, C minor, because this piece is in C minor, so let's get that, that uh, we want an E flat and a G, and we're going to just extend those all out there, and move that back, okay, so you get that, and I'm just going to hit loop so it goes on over the top, okay, and I hit a loop on here, now there is a, a MIDI note that's triggered, and it's going to play that vocoder on its own. Now it was necessary to turn down that original track, otherwise you wouldn't be able to hear it. So if you didn't have it on pre, Baby, can't you, see? you wouldn't necessarily notice the vocoder. So you have to have it on pre in order to turn that down. So just to recap, create yourself a software instrument. Yeah, put your vocoder on there. Okay, from the audio channel you want to put into it, you need to create a bus on pre and turn down both the original track and the bus track, okay, and open up your vocoder, you need to input that from bus 1 into the side chain of the vocoder, and then you can play it on the MIDI keyboard, or record in, uh, draw in, whatever you need to do, okay, that's me done for now, thank you.